Okay, so you want to get an unlimited amount of jewels, right? Well, in today's video, we're going to be doing exactly that. Stay to the end where I show you the best macro for these jewels. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, so you can get jewels pretty much anywhere in World 2. But I do recommend these top three tips because these will help you skyrocket with jewels to easily hit that secret pity. Yes, the update is around the corner. They have already dropped some amazing sneaks. If you haven't seen, I'll put them up now. These sneaks are obviously JJK related and if you don't know what JJK is, it is Jujutsu Kaisen, which pretty much everyone knows anyway. But to start off this method, I'm going to show you the first way right now. If you go to the battle pass, you can obviously see a lot of jewels. So there's just that right there, there's 35. And if you do buy the premium battle pass, there's more at the bottom. If you just scroll through, you're going to see a lot and a lot. I think it's around 2k you actually managed to get just by, you know, doing your battle pass with both of them combined. Because you can see here, there's 230 plus 90, another 280 plus 110. You get a lot of these jewels. That's the first way to actually obtain them, but make sure you stay to the end where I show you the best macro. Okay, so now we're going into the second method. If you don't actually know how to get a lot of jewels, if you go to your quest, there's going to be a lot of rewards. So we have the daily rewards, the weekly rewards, and the infinite rewards. You can also get these permanent rewards, which I actually do not give, but they do give rerolls. And story mode gives a lot of them as well. As you can see, I just claimed 25 jewels with two rerolls just for doing one story mission. Also, if you didn't know, these story missions do reset on the update. For some reason, that happened last update. I don't know if it's a permanent thing, but trust me, you're going to want to do it because it helps a lot and you do actually stack up quite a lot of jewels. Now we're going to jump into the best method that everyone clicked on this video for. And that's going to be the best way to macro them. I know, I know, I macro all the time. I show off all my macros, but it is fine. There are a couple things you are going to need for this macro. First of all, it's going to be a overlord or better flame breather because he's going to easily carry you through purgatory on story mode. I also would recommend getting a Tatsumaki because Tatsumaki is a very good unit to have. You can place her down and she does slow as it is a four times weekend i suggest getting an overlord because trust me it's going to be worth getting one okay so now that i have everything equipped so i have my tatsumaki and i have my flame breather as you can see i have shinigami but that is completely fine that is all we need okay the mode we're going to do it on is purgatory because obviously that is the best way to get jewels each map has a purgatory the demon one having the best and hogtown having the worst if you didn't know Demon Skull Village also drops stack cubes. We are going to just be doing the starter macro for Hogtown. Okay, so we have loaded up and we have our tiny task open. So you do want to fail or you can complete the story mode. It doesn't matter which you do. While we fail, I'm going to go through all of the settings you must use. You can use 5 to 10 times speed because this allows you to easily place down the Rengoku. So if it doesn't do it on the first leap, it will do it on the second. If it doesn't do it on the second, it will do it on the third etc etc so trust me you are going to want to have your playback speed pretty high the recording hotkey is going to be f8 if you're recording the hotkey so if you're not recording the macro then you keep your playback on f8 but then i'm going to switch and put on playback hotkey on f8 and always on top is nice just so you can see it running so now we're going to fail and i'm going to show you the steps by steps on what to do okay so when editing the video the game actually changed a little bit so now what you have to do is you have to complete the whole story first so then once you have defeated this purgatory mode then you can start the macro because it did because the ui of the failing actually changed a little bit instead of replay being on the right side it is in the middle so in the next clip you'll see when i start the macro you'll see that when i die i'm actually clicking here when it's meant to be here so i'm going to rework the macro for everyone don't worry it still worked as intended it's just a little clip that i will throw in just so you guys know not to actually fail and to complete the story mission what you're going to do now is you're going to click f8 to start the recording and then you 
you're going to spam retry but now when you've loaded in you're going to spam it oh oh will allow you to zoom out so if you didn't know that just a little tip and then we are going to spam down rengoku i suggest spamming down rengoku as far away as possible and then once you have placed him down i suggest you spam a tatsumaki down just so they can slow the enemies then click off click on rengoku and just spam upgrade and then just keep doing this and then press f8 again and that will end the macro and then obviously we're going to play the, the macro right now so we press f8 it will spam click spam click spam click start placing down the rengoku and upgrade as you can see this is literally how easy it is to set up a macro if you do want this macro it will be in the discord if i fully publish it well but this is just an easy method some people say oh you need avatar tatsumaki you really don't so i'm just gonna let it loop a couple of times just so you guys can see that it fully works As you can see, it's already cleared one act. So if you do want this macro, it probably will be in the Discord. So if it doesn't, then I will have to remake it. So you'll have to give me a bit of time. But if that's how simple it is. All you need is one good, really good Rengoku and a Tatsumaki. And you can pretty much solo this. I hope that has helped everyone to get them jewels for the new update. Because this update is going to be really, really cool. And I really can't wait. So make sure you join the Anime Last Stand Discord. Make sure you join my Discord. And also make sure you check out Anime Reborn. Anime Reborn looks so, so cool. And if you haven't seen that, we will be dropping some more sneaks on that later on but make sure you hit that like button and have a beautiful day